Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter 12, lesson four. Before we get started, I want to take a picture of this, not so much of this, but of the robot himself. It really does help us. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for y'all to be able to see what is what in our conversion. So you'll notice that in one gallon, there are one, two, three, four quarts touching that gallon. Okay. Now in one quart, there's one, two pints touching that one quart. I know that there are eight pints here total, but when it says one quart, how many pints are touching one quart? So that's only two pints in one quart. Same thing with the cups and the pints, okay? There's only two cups touching one pint, two cups touching one pint, okay? So let's go ahead. We're gonna get started. So I rewrote number two here so we can do the conversion, okay? And you'll see that in quarts, two pints are touching one quart. So the conversion is one quart is two pints. It's the same thing. Okay, sorry, you forgot I zoomed in so now you can't see it. Okay, all right. So we can cancel out our quarts, which means that we're left in pints, which is what we want. Okay, and 12 times two, is 24, 24 pints, okay? Okay. All right. Number three says six cups is how many fluid ounces? I just put ounces in our final answer. We'll always put fluid ounces when it's liquid, but in the meantime, I just put ounces for abbreviation, okay? So six cups when one cup is eight ounces. So now I can cancel out my cups and then six. Oh, so I'm left in ounces. And then six times eight is 48. 48. Done. Okay. All right. Maybe one more with y'all. Okay. So nine pints is how many cups? Well, you'll see on our robot that pint. There's two cups touching each pint, okay? So, six pints is how many ounces? Oh, sorry. Six pints is how many cups? Well, there's, in one pint, there's two cups, okay? So, I can cancel out my pints, which means that I'm left in cups, which is what I want. And nine times two is 18, okay? Done, okay? You guys do five, six, and seven. I'm going to go down and help y'all do number eight so that you guys can see. Now, this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying that when they get longer, it's more difficult for y'all to just do it mentally. Okay? This one's pretty long. So, we're going to go ahead and do it. From pints to ounces. Okay? Well, in pints, you can't just go from pints to ounces. You have to make a pit stop at cups. Then go to ounces. Okay, so pints, pints, cups, cups, we're left in ounces, that's what we want, so that's good. And then the bottoms are one, so all I have to do is multiply across the top. Well, six times two is 12, and 12 times eight. Eight times two is 16, carry the one. Eight times one is eight, plus one is nine. 96 loop is ounces, okay? so. So six pints is 96 fluid ounces, okay? Which means it's bigger than 60, okay? Now, this one went back to being short for you, okay? And it says three gallons or 30 quarts, which one's bigger? So we went with the larger unit, which is gallons. Gallons are, are bigger than quarts. And we're going to cross out gallons. We're left in quarts. That's what we want. Three times four, that's 12. Okay? So that would be 12 quarts. So, okay, 12 quarts or 30 quarts? Well, obviously, 30 quarts is bigger. Okay? You guys do 10 through 13. Remember that when you're changing quarts to cups, you have to make a pit stop at pints. Okay? So it's going to be like this one where we have to make a pit stop, okay? 
Matter of fact, I'll just, I'm going to help you set that one up. Okay. So five quarts. Okay. When in one quart, there are two cups. Okay. Now in one cup, oh, no, sorry. You actually don't have to. Oh, two pints. My bad. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Two pints in one quart. Okay. Now in one pint, there are two cups. Okay. So now can't cross cancel your quarts, cross cancel your pints, you're left in cups, and then you can see which one's bigger. Okay. Okay, y'all, we're going to go down to number 14. It says a chef makes one and a half gallons of soup in a large pot. How many one cup servings can a chef get from a large pot of soup? Okay, you're definitely going to need that paper for that one because we're going from gallons to cups. Okay, so one and one half gallons, and we're going to cups. Okay. Well, if you will notice on our robot, we have to go from gallons to quarts. And then from quarts to pints, then we can get cups. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit longer. And instead of dealing with a fraction, I'm going to turn that into 1.5 just because it's a little bit easier to work with. Okay, so we're going to start. 1.5. Gallons. Now, in one gallon, there are four quarts. Okay. We have quarts up here. One quart's got to go down here. Okay. In one quart, there are two pints. Okay. Almost done, y'all. In one pint, there are two cups, okay? So you'll notice we went from gallons to quarts, from quarts to pints, and from pints to cups, okay? Now, I can cross-cancel my gallons. I can cross-cancel my quarts. I can cross-cancel my pints, and then left with cups, which is what I want, okay? Now, You'll notice I'm not canceling out the numbers. I'm only canceling the labels, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do the whole numbers first and then multiply it out by 1.5. The 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. I'm going to go ahead and do 16 times 1.5, okay? 5 times 6 is 30, carrier 3. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. Okay, tick, tack, toe, one times 16, add them up. So, 240 cups serving. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't go in for the for the decimal point. I have to go in one place for the decimal point. So go in one place. Twenty four cups. My bad, guys. Sorry. Okay. So twenty four cups serving. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. This says. Kendra's water bottle contains two quarts of water. She wants to add drink mix to it, but the directions for the drink mix give the amount of water in fluid ounces. How many fluid ounces are in a bottle? Okay. So, two quarts. And we need to go to fluid ounces, right? Okay. So, we're going to start with what we know. What we know is two quarts. Okay. You will notice we can't just go from quarts to ounces because ounces are after cups, okay? So we're going to go from quarts to pints. Then we're going to go to cups. Then we can go to ounces, okay? So in two quarts, 
okay, in one quart, there are two pints. In one pint, there are two cups. And in one cup, there are eight fluid ounces, but I'm just going to put OD, okay? So let's go through and cancel out our quarts, cancel out our pints, cancel out our cups. We're left with ounces, which is what we want, okay? Okay, now two times two is four, times two is eight, eight times eight is 64. 64 fluid ounces. Okay, don't forget to pause it and write down your work, guys. Okay, all right. We're gonna go over into the back where you guys are gonna do a lesson check, just like always. And I'm gonna help you guys with our review. It says Rory uses one quarter cup of batter for each muffin. Make a list to show the amount of batter he will use depending on the number of muffins he makes. Okay, so we're just gonna write down one quarter and then two quarters and then three quarters. Four quarters. Okay. Um, and it doesn't say to go a certain amount of time, so that should be good, guys. Okay. All right. Beth has seven one hundredths of a dollar. What is the amount of money Beth has? Well, that means that the seven has to be in the hundredth place. So here's our decimal. There's our ten spot. Here's our hundredth spot. Well, after a decimal. It's only seven, so I'm just going to fill that in with a zero. Done. Okay. Name the figure that Enrico drew below. Well, it looks just like a ray of sun. So it is a ray. A hippopotamus weighs four tons. Feeding instructions are giving for weights in pounds. How many pounds does the hippopotamus weigh? Well, okay, four tons. In one ton, there are 2,000 pounds. So now, cancel out our tons. We're left in pounds. That's good. LBS means pounds in Latin for some reason. Four times two is eight. And then I have one, two, three zeros. 8,000 pounds. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 12.4. Come on back for 12.5. See you soon.